Hey guys, this is Rye Guy Gaming here today, and today I'm going to be doing a quick Roblox scripting tutorial. Um, this doesn't mean that I am going back to doing these regularly, but I have been asked to do this one by a friend of mine, and they really needed help, and I couldn't think of a better way to show them how to do this than to make a video. So I thought I'd just show all of this to you guys as well. Um, so please don't think this means I'm coming back to tutorials. I will eventually, but that is not right now. This is just for a friend of mine. So anyways, today I am going to show you guys how to make like a respawn button. So if you see here, if I kill myself, um, now it says you died and I won't respawn until I click this button. You'll see my guy's just dead right there. But then when I click respawn, da 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 da, I'm all better. So before we get into the scripts, here's what you will need. You will need inside of replicated storage a remote event. So like this, you'll need a remote event called respawn. And then inside of the server script storage, you will need a script, sorry, the server script service, you will need a script, just a normal script. And then inside of your GUIs, you will need inside, you know, a screen GUI, you will need a frame. Let me make it visible so we can see it. And you'll need at least a respawn button. You don't have to have like this, you died text and your frame can even be invisible if you want. But inside the frame, you will at least need something, some kind of button for them to click on so that they can respawn and you will need a local script. Now, I am first going to show you the script inside of the server script service. So let's go ahead and look at that. So, like always when we're working with filtering enabled, um, we're going to go ahead and get the event. So we could do game, get service, replicated storage, wait for child respawn. Um, you probably don't have to worry about wait for child, but usually it's just better to do it just to be safe. Um, we create our own function here called respawn. You probably don't need it. I just found it easier typing respawn than doing player load character. Um, but if you don't want to make this part just replace respawn player with player load character. The next chunk of our script right here handles giving showing the GUI to the player after they die as well as spawning the player in the first time they die because the way you make it so that a player doesn't respawn is you come over here and you click on players and then down here you'll see at the very bottom a checkbox that says character auto loads. Go ahead and uncheck that and now players will never respawn unless you tell them to. Even when they first load into the game, their character will not spawn unless you tell them to. So this chunk right here not only handles showing the GUI to the player after they die, but this line right here also um, causes the player to respawn um, the first time they spawn in. So technically it's the initial spawn but the function is just called respawn um, so the way it works is when a player is added to game.players this creates this function um, and then it will go ahead and when their character is added it creates this function and then we will wait for their humanoid and then when we set up a listener to hear when the humanoid dies or when their health reaches zero. Um, that creates another function and then the event is fired to the client. So event fire client and we fire it to the player um, that we get here that died. And then at the end here is where we initially spawn in the player. So when the player joins in the game it will set up this whole ordeal for them and then it will spawn in their character. Down here is where we handle um, respawning the player when they click the button. So you say event on server event connect function player um, respawn. So whenever the player clicks the button, this function, this line of code, lines of code is called and it will respawn the player. So now let's go ahead and look at the button. And if you remember, the button is right here um, inside of your 
screen GUI at least and then inside of our we're gonna look in our local script so the first thing I do is get the frame you don't have to do this I just didn't want to type script dot parent every time um, and then I got the event again so the first thing we're going to do is make it so that the frame becomes visible when the player dies and so to do that if you remember we already handled this over here the player actually dying so we just have to set up an event listener here so event on client event connect function and then frame dot visible equals true that's it that just means when this server when this event receives a call from the server to this client it will show the frame and then this chunk down here is what happens when we click on the text button um, you'll probably want to name yours like respawn button or something but I just called mine text button um, but anyways it's script.parent.yourbuttons name so as you can see mine is text button so that's why this says text button but you're going to want to change this to the name of your respawn button if it's a different name dot mouse button one down colon connect and that and then we'll create a function and we'll hide the frame so we'll set it to be visible as false um, technically you don't have to do this if your GUI reloads every time your player dies but we're gonna do this anyway just in case that isn't the case so just put this line in here as a safety and then you are going to just fire the server get the event to fire the server which again calls back to the script and simply respawns the player and that's honestly it it's just really simple so let me go ahead and hide the frame and I'll show you that it works again okay frame hidden so let's go ahead and click play I spawn in for the first time and then when I kill myself maybe there we go if I kill myself now you'll see that I stay dead until I hit the respawn button now you can also use this type of script to do like a timed respawn so let's say you wanted your character to only respawn after a certain time. Basically, instead of this line here, you wouldn't need like any of the event or GUI or anything. All you, you would seriously just say wait and then however long you wanted to wait before they respawn. And then you would say respawn player. But of course, if you just wanted a timed respawn, then you wouldn't need you wouldn't need this you wouldn't need all this <laughs> you wouldn't even need an event so but hopefully you found this helpful um, if you need any help please be sure to let me know that down in the comments and please be sure to subscribe if you're new and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video goodbye